Hey, what's up guys, it's Roy here. So today I have the Spigen Tough Armor case here for the Samsung Galaxy S23. They do make this for the Plus and the Ultra as well. So if you're interested in buying this case after watching this video, do follow my Amazon affiliate link down below. Cost is gonna cost you around 21 bucks and then there is an instant 5% off coupon right now. So as far as the packaging goes, looks like every other Spigen box as you can see here. And then, like I said, Tough Armor, says it's made for the Samsung Galaxy and color is black. So the way to get it out is you just pull the tab up and pull the case out. They always come in this type of packaging. Inside, like all the other ones, the design for Samsung talking about their wireless chargers. And here is the actual case and it looks really, really good. So here we have the nice yellow material that's very recognizable now with the tough armors it's very squishy feels very good this is what's going up against your phone as you can see there it does say air cushion technology which it does have those bumpers kind of like little airbags that are in the corners that will help when you drop it and then you can see some branding there tough armor branding right there and then of course the cutouts for the cameras so let's get this bad boy installed. So like I said, this is a dummy phone. It's just really for case manufacturers to make cases with. And fortunately I was able to get one sent to me. All right, and there is the phone installed in the case. And it looks just like pretty much any tough armor case, right? A little bit of a different look with the different lenses. But other than that, very reminiscent of the S22 version. So you got the lighter matte black color with a little bit darker color here. We do have a color matching Spigen kickstand, which is pretty flimsy. If you see there, it's very flimsy. It can pop off, and if it does, then no problem. It does say Spigen there, and then something you want right there. And then looking at the lenses, I do like that they do individual cutouts for the lenses instead of a big pill shape there. So it looks very nice. You can tell that the lenses are nicely recessed in. So getting some good lens protection from it. Um, this material is really nice and smooth and feels great in the hand, but it does come with a downfall because the oils from your hands will definitely start to show a little bit. So you'll need to like grab you know, like a microfiber towel and wipe it down or something like that. Just something to think about. But fingerprints are not an issue, so that is at least a silver lining. Now looking at the side here, you can see that we do have those flat type of buttons. So the volume up and down button right there with a plus and minus. And then the power button has those teeth right there, which you can fill and it feels very nice in the hands and makes a very nice little sound there. And then it does have some branding once again. So tough armor right there, little cuts right there in the corners and that's kind of all around. And then looking at the bottom here, you can see that we do have a nice cutout for the uh, USB-C charging port and the speakers. And you can kind of see how it's formed right there. So a little bit of like some humps going on there to help with that drop protection. Solid piece there on this side, nothing going on. And then up here at the top, we do have a circular cutout for the microphone up top. Looking at the front, we do have some really good lip protection going around the whole entire front of the phone. So if you do place it face down or drop it on accident face down, you're gonna get some good screen protection with it. And that's the look of it looking at from the front. And then if you get a little bit closer, you can kind of see how the uh, cutout there is for the speaker. So very minimalist looking. So next let's go ahead and do the wobble test. So I'm just gonna place it face down, shake it on this hard surface and there's no shaking going on. And if I go back down, kind of the same thing. I mean, it, it, it's moving as you can see with that red dot from my camera but it's not shaking like, like wobbly. So it's just moving because of the movement of the phone. And next let's go ahead and do the clicky button test. So even though this is a dummy phone, the buttons actually do work. So let's do the power button first. Volume up and down. Okay, so the buttons are extremely tactile and responsive. So no issues at all when it comes to how tactile those buttons are. So the last test that I wanna do is actually just showing you the kickstand. So the kickstand works and it's like how it's supposed to, right? So if you set it up like that, it's going to set up. 
So that way you have it kind of in landscape mode. You can watch YouTube or something like that. Uh, you can't really do it this way. I, I always want to show people that because since it's off centered, if it was more in the middle, then it would. But what you can do though, is you can do the top like that. So that way it does lean back a little bit further like so. So you can do it that way or that way, but that's it. So I just wanted to show you all that real quick. And like I said, it is very flimsy. So if it does uh, magically pop off, uh, you can definitely pop it back in. So I can't do a Qi wireless charging test, unfortunately, since this is a dummy phone, but every Tough Armor case I've owned has always been able to do wireless charging with no issues. You can do reverse power share with no issues, and you can do Google Pay and Samsung Pay with no issues. So if you want something that's slim, feels good in the hand, and it's gonna give your S23 Plus or Ultra some great drop protection, then this is gonna be for you. Like I said, with that discount, you're gonna be spending under 20 bucks, so not too shabby at all. So hit that like button if you like this video. If you loved it, please subscribe, ring that notification bell for up-to-date content. So be safe, God bless, we'll see you on the next one.